famous American Nobel Prize winner Linus Pauling once said, the best way to have a good idea is to have lots of ideas. The ideation phase is dedicated to the search for ideas related to the problems previously identified. Here are some impulses for finding ideas. Going for quantity over quality. The more ideas you come up with, the better chance you have to reach a truly brilliant solution. Working with constraints. Ideation works best when you apply some rules and deadlines to your creative session. For example, you might limit yourself to one hour for a brainstorming session. The brilliant and the ridiculous. It's often hard to tell the difference between what is ridiculous and what is brilliant. So encourage both. Be divergent a bit longer. Stay in the mindset. Continue to exercise your creative muscles and don't rush to convergence. It's not time for decision making yet. A team sport. It helps to have diverse perspectives when you want to come up with lots of ideas. If you're working alone, nevertheless find ways to include others. You see, anyone can ideate. Gathering ideas is sometimes hindered by the urge to stick too closely to seemingly realistic possibilities. Ideation is the chance to reframe the concept of unrealistic and to allow yourself to release your wild thinker, a part of your personality that is just waiting to have a realistic chance. Ideation is also a lot about using the mindset of yes and. Many ideas emerge in common associations, where it is no more possible or even necessary to identify who exactly was the person with the brilliant idea. Ideation uses the power of the group mind, the energy of challenging each other in a playful way. And now some remarks and hints for using ideation in a lecture. One key competence that is important for companies, institutions and society in general is creativity. And in connection with it, the courage to make others notice it it is nice to carry with you a lot of dreams like, wouldn't that be great? It is crucial to get from the state of pure dreaming to bring these dreams down to earth and to combine various threads to powerful ideas. Studying at a university often feels like just listening to teachers. Innovative teaching uses the power of co-creating, of ideating together, of activating the students' energies. Learning is not just about taking in information or practicing techniques. Learning is about creating, about identifying problems, also by a deep kind of listening and observing. Based on that, learning is about using a focus as a launchpad for co-creating ideas. Students will then experience an intense level of commitment, involvement and self-confidence. Thus, they become in many ways owners of their own learning process. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching.